like you. Thank you. Here we go, dude. It's showtime. And we're back on JR Archive. And now this time I'm going to look up... I think I'll look up season 27 first. We'll go with Christopher Short's second game win. Here they go right off the bat. Oh, it looks like Christopher is just a little bit ahead of Tom. Co off at the distance now in the negative. It looks like it's a very close one, but Tom is in the lead with Christopher with Co coming through as well. I don't know who's gonna win. Oh, the hell got it correct. Who's gonna win? It might be Christopher. It is Christopher with Thomas second go in third. That got off to a great start. Christopher Shorts, he was maintaining that lead for a little bit, slightly ahead. Cole Ataka got in the negative in two rounds. Tom Mulsgrover was in the lead in final jeopardy for a little bit of time, but eventually it is Christopher Short moving on. And here is his next game. The third game is the worst. Here they go, and right off the bat, looks like Corey is ahead with Cindy with Christopher coming in third. Oh no, Christopher's not coming second. She's past Cindy. Hey! This is Tuesday, April 5th, 2011, and it's about the letter C's. Let's try it again. Go! About the letter C's, and here they go. It looks like Corey is in that lead with Cindy, with Christopher coming in third. Oh no, Christopher's not coming second. He's past Cindy. But now the big story here is Corey. Oh, looks like Corey's now sort of behind as Christopher's coming in and out. He wins! Corey in second, Cindy in third. This is a battle of the letter C battle. Between these three letter C guys, I really knew what happened. Cindy Peterson lost every single one of her money in Final Jeopardy. Corey Fix was in the lead for the longest time, but eventually it is Christopher Short. Moving on to the fourth game. And it looks like we're going to get into our third game. And before we get into it, I just want to know, we're all, wait, we're all in this together. That's our plan. Go. Looks like Joe is slightly ahead of Dana with Chip turning into a chip in last place. But the big story has been Joe. Yeah, with Chip in third. Oh no, Chip is now coming second. He's past Dana, but the big story here is Joe. That old Joe guy coming into first. Man, I shouldn't say that, but he is in the lead. Will it be enough to maintain the lead? Or what's gonna happen? Oh, what happened? These two got it correct. Oh, Joe's the only one correct made chip moves. A little bit of technical difficulties in the final. We've already sorted it out. Chip Bell, on to the third game. And let's get into his third game. Looks like Bill is just slightly ahead of Julie with Chip coming in third. Oh no, Julie's now overtaking the lead with Bill. Chip's still in last place. I don't think he'll be able to catch Julie or Bill. And it looks like Julie's going to advance and move on to the next round as Chip and Bill are eliminated. I wouldn't be surprised about this because three months ago, I was in, in a Jack Frost costume when I was in the old house on a snow day. Wow, ever couldn't believe it. Many of these games are very old, but they are super good for me. And these are rather successfully cool to watch. 
We'll go with the game in 2016, not 2017. I am going to go with... Oh, um, you know what? Let's go with... You know, let's figure it out. McCarn Marthy's second game. Here comes McCarn. It looks like she's slightly in the lead. With Kate slightly ahead of Ryan. But McCarn is well ahead. She is well ahead. Oh, no, Kate! Kate is now overtaking mine. Ryan's still in third. I don't think he'll be able to catch McCon or Kate. The two guys that have the letter K, they won't be able to be caught up by Ryan. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. Ryan's now overtaking Kate. Will it be enough to finish second? No, but McCon still goes on and Kate still comes in second and Ryan in third. That was very close. Incredibly close, but Kate has still come in second. Even though she was overtaken by Ryan. I thought Ryan would finish in second for sure. Three more games left. I think maybe I'll go with season 35. Which would be the final one, you'd say. In an elevator. Which is pretty blurry. It looks like Jason is a little bit ahead of Maggie with Michael coming in it as well. I don't know what's going to happen any moment here. They're really going... Oh, Jason is definitely in the lead. The big story is who's going to come in second between My Maggie and Michael. It will be... Oh, it's very close to see who's in second. One of them will win. Who's going to win between Ma the letter S, Maggie and Michael? It is... Michael! But Jason has won. Michael has come in second. Just $2 ahead of Maggie, who finishes in last. Two more games. I should actually go with Emily Stance. Here they go, oh wow, Andy not doing so well. She'll be doing very well, but it is Emily Sands. Excellent Emily, definitely coming in first here. She'll be coming in second, and the guy who's in the negative right now is Andy, who's coming, finishing in third, or actually is in third place right now. Who can tell whether these guys are pretty much ahead, but Emily is ahead. Wow, she will go on to win. Shelia will come in second. And Andy has somehow lost 3,400. That was an exciting game. Andy Goldstein lost all of his money. Julia Darnold finishes in second, but Emily Sands goes on. I think that... I think that Fornado is better than Tornado. And here we are, in the last game, to brawl to settle it all. Here we go, it looks like, and as he's slightly ahead, oh no, it goes now, pulled ahead of Anjani. And one last place, who can tell whether these guys are catching up, but definitely, Igor is ahead. We don't know who's going to win. Oh, it's very close to see who's going to be the lead, it looks like Emma's slightly ahead of Igor. I don't see him last, who will win it is? Emma! Taking out Anaji and Agor, who don't take it well. Anyway, that's it for now, viewers all. I'd really appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button anyway. Or you can leave a comment telling me some better JR show games I should go on. And hey, if you had fun, I'd really appreciate it if you gave me a like anyway. You know, click on that little like button if you will. But for now, this is Virtual WGBH Kids Guy, Andrew Aguilar, signing off. Bye! Jeez, I packed so